Hi guys, this is my review of the Phoenix ROM for Galaxy Note 2 GTN7100. So as you can see, this is the Android 4.1.2, that's the Jelly Bean. And this is the Phoenix ROM version 3. So hit link 1 from the description for the installation method. And link 2 will lead you to the ROM thread so you can download the ROM from there. So guys, coming on to the review, while flashing this ROM, you get to choose between lots of apps and mods in the ROM installer. Uh, like, you know, beside every contact, you have this call button, so you can directly press this button to call that contact. You also have uh, this exit menu on your stock browser. Okay, here you have it. You also have this uh, multi-window control with this uh, ROM. So I'll come back to it within a minute. You also have STC wallpapers with this ROM. Okay, there you have it. You also have touch with rotation. If you enable the screen rotation, you can just uh, enable rotation with this launch, a touch with launcher as well. Yep, there you see it. No issues. Some mods have been added, like the Bravia engine. Uh, and this multi window tray is transparent. You can do all these uh, selections under your, you know, this aroma installer. It's about, you know, preferences, what mods do you want to install, what you don't want to install. So you can do that. Everything is safe, so no need to worry about that. So, guys, right from the lock screen, you have this ink effect with this ROM. But it works with your S Pen only. You don't uh, have the ink effect with your finger. But I'm not sure if you choose the transparent mode in the Roman installer, you might get the ink effect uh, with your finger also. I'm not sure about it, but I've read it in the ROM thread on XDA. So you can uh, go ahead and uh, check the ROM thread. That's the link number two. So everything is working fine. Uh, you don't have any issues with this ROM. You know, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, GPS, everything is working fine. All the functions, you know, the S10 functions. Working. Uh, taking the screenshot okay there you have it the S note is working as well okay here you go yep working fine all the features that you get with the note 2 you know like the multi window air view and the motion controls just a second, okay. It's working. Yep, it's working fine. No issues. Uh, even the A view works. Just a second. Okay, there you have it. The A view is working fine. So, guys, as I've already mentioned, that you get to choose between lots of apps uh, in the Roma installer. So let's go ahead and see what uh, what apps do we get. You also have uh, Jelly Bean camera, works fine, no issues. Yep. Okay, there you have it. Okay, there's the pick. You also have the Jelly Bean clock. Um, this is the widget for the Jelly Bean clock. You also have Google Earth, but guys, uh, this Google Earth crashes once you open up the app, you know, it cannot load. So I suggest you not to select the Google Earth in the Roma installer. You can manually install it from the Play Store. You also have the Jelly Bean uh, Gallery, the multi-window control. So what this uh, does is, first time you open it, you need to grant the super user permissions. Uh, it allows you to add additional apps on your multi-window tray. Say for example, I don't have any camera app on the multi-window. Suppose I want to add it. Hit add application. Hit this plus button. And you can select the app. Well, now it's done. Let's go back. Hit kill it. And now you go back. Back. And now you long press the back button. You will see the camera button here. Now you can open up camera in one, oh, sorry, just a second. Now it's been added. Now we can open camera in one window. 
and uh, S node in another. Okay. See, it's working. You have paper artist, works fine. No issues. Yep, there it goes. You also have this S planner, works fine. S voice, works fine as well. You also have this Google Now, works fine. Okay, there you have it. You also can customize these uh, toggles on your notification bar. Uh, under menu settings, uh, you have this uh, in this display menu, you have this uh, notification panel settings. And here you have this uh, toggles. You can swap uh, any, any one of it. Uh, for example, uh, you can swap this multi window with this uh, sync toggle. And driving mode with your all share cast. Smart stay enable disable with your blocking mode, S beam NFC. So now you can see I have the smart stay, a driving mode, and the sync. You have this uh, S Pen board switcher. So what it does is you know for S Pen uh, you can use a different keyboard, and for uh, normal typing you can use a different keyboard. As you can see uh, by default you have. Uh, by default uh, it looks like this and say for example now I need to change my keyboard to Android keyboard and enable switch of service okay let me insert my I'll go back I insert my S Pen and now open up the keyboard now okay there you see that's the normal Samsung keyboard and once I pull out the S Pen okay now see the keyboard it's the AOSP keyboard so that's a cool feature you also get this uh, different keyboard with this ROM with all these symbols on top if you long press that button you'll get that respective uh, symbol for example you have this dollar symbol uh, for this F key if you press it okay you have it you have this at the rate uh, symbol for on this S button if you long press it you'll get it yep there you go and you can select between uh, these three symbols any one of it so other than that guys everything is working fine all the motion controls and everything that you get with the note 2 works perfect all the functions uh, the call quality and everything is superb and uh, this rom is really fast really smooth and the battery life is also pretty decent i've been continuously using this rom uh, since the last night and uh, the battery is still i have 62 percent so this is the benchmark score for this rom and all the apps that you get with this ROM works perfect except this uh, Google Earth, it crashes. So other than that, everything is fine. Uh, I definitely suggest you to try this ROM. So that's all guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay subscribed. I'll be uploading more ROM reviews. Bye bye now and have a good day.